What is up, lads? Welcome back to another episode of my Jerusalem playthrough, where in the previous episode we did manage to claim the Spanish throne and jump into a war against him, which means, theoretically, we've PU'd them both. Uh, we just have one little obstacle in between us and that, and that is that we're fighting these two nations, Spain, France, and their small ally Flanders, which combined, it happen just so happens, are uh, way more powerful than us, but I'm optimistic that this war is winnable. And yeah, let's get into things because uh, I'm going to be uh, playing quite slow, fairly slow, regardless of whether I wish to or not. So with that in mind, let's just get straight into things. A little bit concerned about the fact that we may get our troops caught out here. It is what it is. But yeah, let's try to play this slowly. Now on Navy, I'm sending over here to repair. And I'll consider just upgrading my fleet, but I'm kind of hesitant to do that. Because they're outdated anyway. I think we might just embrace the worse navy this war. And uh, what might happen is we make it towards this tech. We accumulate a lot of our navy, make it towards this tech. Upgrade and cross the strait or, or we'll, we'll, we'll see if it makes a difference or not at the time. Our allies over here are doing a good job. I hope they continue that. Just uh, generally taking a fort. France is out of position to protect Flanders. It's good to see. So I'm hoping to get here before the end of the month, before the garrison grows. And then uh, take the fort back. Damn, Flanders is strong as well. Uh, we've got every advantage in the world over him. I don't know why our morale is shot. Okay, garrison does not grow. Okay, now the uh, Spanish are actually stuck here. So we should be able to stack wipe them, maybe. Okay, Flanders is wrecked. Now my army composition is an issue, man. It's an issue, and let's let's try to sort it out. I'm happy with having low cav in these battles. Okay, just so I know, let's ha have a good look at our combat widths. 34. Okay. 34. Let's go for 18 and... Um, that will be 22 if we put two cavalry in. So 18 plus 18 is 36. And it's 34, right? I'm going to take two cav out and two infantry out and I'm going to try, try to be smart, right, and operate with two stacks at a time minimum so that we can uh, reinforce and go over our, our combat width, for example. God dang it, if GB was just a little bit smarter with his... If he just focused on Flanders, like I kind of asked him to, instead of getting stack wiped over here, that would have been really good. I'm worried about him in the long run. He might get super pissed. Okay, so 16th of August. There, hopefully if we use our 5 shock, this is a stack wipe. 
hopefully, because he could reinforce, but our numbers are fairly good there. He's not committing. Interesting. Oh, let's be careful. I don't want to lose these little dudes. Please stack wipe them. Yeah, so we let's get a gauge on how strong the Spanish are. This is the Spanish are stronger, but not by much. They're definitely stronger, but not by much. That's more like it. The French are really freaky. <laughs> I'm sorry to say the the French are a lot stronger than I I would have uh, hoped and liked. That's for sure. That's the formidable Spanish fleet. I'm wondering if we can continue picking off fleet here and there and, uh, yeah, st stealing them. Okay, so let's go for uh, stack number two. It's 18 to 16. 18 to 14. I'm going to remake this. Oh, wrong way around. Mercs, two. I just had a dreadful thought. Did I? Okay, phew. When I realized I was doing it the wrong way around, I was like, did I make my last stack where I was hiring mercenary cannons and stuff? That would have been dumb. 18... Two sixteen. Let's get a different stack up with good composition. Oh, eighteen. Okay, ready to defend this. Okay, how are we doing for a stack wipe here? Poorly, it looks like. Damn. No, got him. Nice. It's because I'm playing so slow, of course. Now, I don't think he can retreat from here. Excellent, dude. Well, we managed to uh, outmaneuver him big time over there. Feeling good about that. Gonna roll a general here who has siege apparently. That's good, better than nothing. Using our best general. Okay. Sixteenth. We arrive too soon here. Let's wait a couple days. Okay, and we get the bonus of being on a fort. Nice. Nice. Now there's no blocking the strait over here because um he owns both sides of the strait. But we're doing a good job defending it on the African front. There's no doubt about that. Now, I'm not sure about what can be raided around here. Let's go have a look, I guess. Okay. Oh, GB's sitting on Flanders. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, he's almost white peaceable. This fort, Fort 1, rank 1, it could drop pretty quickly if we're lucky. Okay, it's going to be sheer numbers here that will carry us through. Uh-oh. Crap. I'm really skeptical that we will win that. Damn, dude. Really? This is stressing me out. It's stressing me out how kind of poorly our odds appear to be here. 
I can see my morale has not fully recovered. Shoot. Again, kind of uh, depending on the, the sheer numbers here. But France could come reinforce. Really? Oh, man. Really? Oh, my goodness. He's so much stronger than us, dude. There's quite some wealth to be had here. On, in India. I wonder if that's readable. Come on, we can win this. Rolling an eight. You bastard. El Bastardo. Hoping he doesn't have reinforcements here because the numbers could carry us through in this battle. Oh my goodness. They're so strong, dude. It's like we're doing nothing to them. Oh my god. Rip us. Come on. Come on. Negative two to rolls is brutal. I mean, we outnumber him by so much. Rolling an eight. If you do. Okay, he retreated at least. That makes me feel good. <sighs> Damn. Damn. Okay, just win this one. If you with your high rolls, we rolled well as well. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get wrecked. Oh my goodness, dude. Holy crap. I'm I'm much less optimistic now, guys. Like, what the hell? They're so strong. They're so strong. I've got the feather in the faith, even. They're, that's not even the French. I'm stressing out. I'm stressing out. Okay, okay, good job. Try to get money here because we're poor. Good job, GB. Good job. You did well. We, uh, I, uh, part of me feels like uh, really keeping an eye on, on GB in particular. Our allies are doing nicely. Sieging down a fort for us. Um, no, we don't make it until next month over here. I think because we arrive on the 1st of November, I think we're keeping pressure on him then. His morale won't increase. I'm not sure. If I force march, I mean. Yeah, so hopefully we can get our capital back because the fact that they have our capital is sad. Um, I have to be terrified about the French, guys. That. That is what I have to be terrified about. Oh, crap. Maybe I can just scare him in the meantime. No. Oh my goodness. I can't fight in the hills here. Well, obviously we're retreating here in a moment. Whew, I'm so less optimistic. What am I going to do? What the hell am I going to do? I can't separate these France, guys. It's pretty much whether GB can deter them or not. Like, entirely. Goodness. Second of November, so our morale should increase. Okay, we appear to be able to raid around this region. I'm going to go all the way down India. Don't you dare stack white me, please. Three days. Please don't stack white me. Nice, his morale did not increase. Good. Good. Okay, good decision making overall, but brutal. I'm not going to I'm not going to commit to this no way. We're getting out of here. As soon as I can. I guess. Ooh. Okay, this should be money for us. Um, okay, 
uh, I'm interested in Spain's manpower. It's not that high. Both of the manpowers is not that high. Good. Especially because he's... I mean, I know we're feeling the pain, but so is he. I'm hoping that... Before the end of the month, I'm hoping this is a stack wipe here, guys. That's a huge amount of Spanish troopies. Okay. No idea what England's going to do. He's, he is fighting another, another war. Our allies are making gains for us. Good job. Keep your eye on the Navy, you fool. Okay, hoping that with our overextension gone, our economy fares more nicely in the meantime. But also, I'm hoping that some of these are less... Yeah, these real factions go away. The ones that were unhappy due to us uh, decreasing autonomy. Okay, we've got some heavy ships finishing up, but I'm not feeling that optimistic about Navy in general. raid arrive on the 29th let's try to remember that okay two days here's the moment of truth yes yes it's a huge victory okay let's split these up wait keep them together I'm doing maneuver here try to suffer as little attrition as possible Okay. Yep. Okay, we're win winning in Africa, guys. We're winning in Africa. Raiding is a kind of carrying through the economy. so skeptical about this area i don't know what to do these guys are so strong i can't believe how strong they are this is freaky okay three days here oh man the fact that he has the hills bonus here is really rough Yeah, so we've pieced out everybody that we're going to piece out so we can kind of, kind of get a true comparison. The fact that I feel really dependent on GB, guys, is stressing me out because uh, his war exhaustion is high. His war exhaustion is high. If he loses battles, um, you know, he's going to get stack wiped because his maneuverability is pretty bad. Damn, dude, look how strong he is, though. Real, real talk. This is actually crazy. Great Britain which mostly is just Great Britain. He's got in some of the islands, including Iceland, which he's obviously stated up. But right now, he's like... He's like arguably the strongest nation in the world in terms of sheer strength. That's crazy. Did he go quantity? He did. He did. That's part of the reason why he's certainly rich. Lucky me, I guess. Because he's helping. Alright. Let's try to hold up a defensive position around my capital. How about that? We've got a good eye on, on some of the French troops now. So, Spain is down to kind of one large stack. That's good to see. France is out of manpower. That's good to see. It's good to see. We need to make some gains in this war, though. For sure. A hundred and twenty-four ducats a month on reinforcements. Dude, brutal. 
brutal. Oh, I've I've already raided this. Too far away. I didn't realize that was too far away. That makes me sad. Okay, and I've already raided that. I can still raid down the east coast of Africa. Let's try to consolidate some of these while it seems like the coast is clear. Because I hate it when they're separate. Now that is like the one area that I actually had some troops positioned to combat this. If we sit in the jungle and he walks over, hopefully we can uh, wreck him. They are a tech behind us. Good. Good, good, good. Because those rebels started generating before we caught them up. So they have precise tech and on our own. I'm kind of stressing about our war exhaustion, guys, because if we if we get rid of our war exhaustion, it's going to help us with that little bit of unrest there. But actually, I won't worry about it for now, because I'm about to boost my stability as well, which is going to have the same effect. The stability is just going to be good in general for us, help the economy out as well with that corruption. So uh, I'm going to assault this with the artillery barrage. I feel like because I saw a lot of his troops up here, I feel like this is the best shot we we have at, at getting this. We're quite consolidated on it. And, um, uh, yeah, his troops are not well positioned to defend it, in my opinion. I, can't, I don't feel like I can go crazy with those artillery barrages, though. We, we're spending military point power far more quickly than we're gaining it throughout the course of this war. And um, them ticking up would be, I mean, he's got such a good ruler. Him ticking up would be an issue, for sure. As it begins to get cheaper. We can see his enthusiasm is waning though. We, he thinks we're winning and so do we. I'm going to try creep over to this area. Creepy creep. I'm feeling really good about the fact that he doesn't have high fort levels. Oh, well we got caught there. Thank goodness they're mostly the light ships. I'll try to retreat here in a second. Oh, they walked over. Oh, he spawned over here and walked over here. Shoot. I'm just pretty much not going to do anything to that. Those heavy ships, it's good to see. I'm trying to creep over here. God, Great Britain, don't be dumb like that. That is so dumb. I mean, you know, you do you, man. I'm just glad you're participating, but this is sketchy because that 24,000 is, is completely blocked out by Ford. So if they lose one battle, they get stack wiped, you know? That's what's already happened to him. And that combined with the fact that he's fighting, hey, he's not fighting the other war any longer. Good. At least he's fully committed to this. Can we deter you, please? Oh my goodness. He's he's in. I can't believe this. I really want to win this. I already artillery barraged. We're going to have no reinforcements apart from the own that I make, so... That's why I'm murking up. Okay, he's scared. Phew. This is what I was hoping for. I thought it was too soon. Okay. Uh, let's cancel these. <laughs> Get that money back. Um, Most of it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, this is what I want. Just slow, slow and methodically. Slowly and methodically. Take our capital back for starters and then start working on some of these forts where he doesn't have such a strong uh, defensible position. Trying to creep it a creep, creepily creep a creep upon here. Straight to Gibraltar, because I it's gonna be important that we can we can get through. 
I've lost track of uh, the Spanish heavies. They've got a stack somewhere of like... Literally 40 plus heavies. Okay, let's go raiding all the way around here. Trying to keep an eye on that, but it's difficult. Oh, okay, I got caught again. Trying to creep over. GB has certainly not been that productive. Okay, good job. Hungary and Ragusa got us a fort there. I'm going to try not be greedy because it takes a while to maneuver around if we go on to Avignon. Okay, 30th of March. Austria doesn't like us very much. Let's improve relations with him. Oh, God. I'm feeling the pain here. Big time. Still didn't lose heavy ships. We've got plenty of transports. That's kind of what counts. Just losing some lights. Taking parry is good, but that's free, easy pickings. This is what's stressing me out. Like, what kind of maneuverability do you have, dude? It looks like he can go up into from southern to northern France. So that, hopefully... He doesn't have a general, dude. God dang it. I mean, uh, I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm going to be pissed. I'm going to be pissed if he breaks this progress to go fight that. But uh, I'll try to contain myself. There's no point. We're really relying on the, the derpiness of the AI here either way. Please don't get stack wiped. Please don't get stack wiped. Please don't get stack wiped. Please don't. I think he's going to get a second one. We're slow speed. I think he's going to... Oh. Okay. Great Britain's actually fighting some of the reinforcements from Spain. Some of the mercs that he's dropping. One of our leaders died. It's our admiral. I guess let's wait till the end of the month there. Spending much fewer and fewer ducats on reinforcing, which is good. These forts are going to be painful to get if we're coming down from the uh, the north. There's no doubt about that. Oh, what? What? I guess fighting the jungle fort. That's going to be expensive to reinforce. I think we'll win, though. Hope we win. Oh, my goodness. Okay, he's walking off. He's walking off that way. Oh my goodness, these Spain Spanish. We need to like consolidate with the British in the north. It's the only way. We just need the sheer overwhelming numbers, which we do have. Because they are so much more powerful than us. Hopefully GB has some good um uh generals as well. I haven't really okay, Perry has fallen. Which didn't seem to be worth much war score. Ah, oh, because he's taking pest. Oh, I didn't even realize. Well, hunger is going to be out. That seems inevitable. Hungary will get taken out. He's got about 20k as well. He's been serving as a bit of a distraction though, at least. And right now, he's actually doing something. Good job. My man, well, it 
doing nicely here. Navy is doing just fine. Coalition grows. Oh, we're going to get caught here, though. Or here. Still just trying to creep over. Okay, he's going over to Austria, over to Hungary, I guess. That fort hopefully can last a while. Fort 4. I guess it, it's kind of the dream guy. Oh, there's the big Spanish fleet. Uh-oh. Okay. Creep not successful that time. Uh, the dream would be for him to just trade sieges. That would be the dream. I would be more than happy to just trade occupations. I, I think we would win the war quite confidently. If that was the case. Okay, I completely ballsed up sieging this stuff. I think I didn't get that area. Let's do that firstly. Okay, so I'm kind of... No, 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 no. Well. Heavy ship? I might be able to steal that. Did in fact miss that. I don't think I raided up these areas. No. Oh, we got caught. Not worth it. Not worth it. Dude, I didn't have an admiral, that's why. It's not the first time I've made that mistake. God dang it, you idiot! You idiot! <laughs> that was really costly as well. Oh, you idiot. Oh, we will escape, thank goodness. Oh, I thought so. But he had those light ships incoming. Feels bad, man. Well. Hopefully not too costly. We were mostly healthy. I'm trying to keep an eye on both these areas. Yeah, we still got our crappy eight outdated heavies. Struggling at sea, there's no doubt about that. Oh, this looks... Like a good opportunity to group some of these up, however. I think over in Anatolia is much safer. Okay, so he's going for Ragusa. Yeah, like I said, if he just trades... Ooh, artillery cost. That's good. Ottomans have gone to war. So the Ottomans... Um, truce lasts for two years. I'm wondering about the coalition growing. I think if we can win this war, the coalition will diminish, right? That's what me be thinkings. I keep a Hawkeye here for battle markers. Accumulate these this navy. I want enough to smash over here and walk over. That's going to be the quickest way to Madrid. Two, two uh, rank two forts in between that and Madrid is is definitely not that much to handle overall. First of September. Tangiers Falls. I want to be on Granada already, quite frankly. So, uh, most of the troops is just walking down to this area, guys. I'm not going to lie. I'm feeling pretty good about the direction this war is going all of a sudden. The way that they're not just aggressively fighting on the border. Because we're sieging them up. Let's try to actually get this little GB stack to do something. Yeah, 
and uh, he's doing all right in terms of enthusiasm. Yeah, I'm not sure about this unrest though. The rebel factions are doing fine. We're doing perfectly fine in terms of unrest. Uh, we're doing pretty fine overall. Overall, just just keep it up, Great Britain. Don't break your siege progress. We need some actual progress for sure. That got caught. Damn it. It's just fighting lights right now as it happens. Yep. Goods are dropped really quickly, that's to be expected, I guess. Okay, so we didn't lose that ship. Are we in the clear? We're in the clear. Go, 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 go. Get in position. Go, 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 go. Operation Invade Iberia. Command. Good job, Raguza, making distraction. You're my boy. Okay, I'm going to take this off. Because GB obviously has access to Portugal, and he's actually poised to, to help us kind of defend ourselves. I like that. Nice, now if he allows me to, I'm going to maintain this blockade. Ah! He's not allowing me to. <laughs> but we're going to own both sides of the strait, guys. Operation successful. Here's hoping that we don't uh, lose here. I mean, again, most of the army is over here in Hungary. Hungary's doing a stellar job distracting them. And then uh, I feel like if he, if we can trade forts for forts, we're going to have really good odds of winning this for sure. Which is currently kind of how this game's going. Now I think I can raid up here, and I think I can raid uh, up in the north of Asia, but we, don't, we did a fairly good job raiding. I'm going to try to bring this navy around. We can probably raid that. Um, to participate, it, you know, blockading him, popping out from a port and blockading him could make the <gasps> Oh! How? Yes! Yes! I didn't see that coming. Oh my goodness, 100,000 plus Polish troops. To save the day. The relief of Vienna. Except the relief of, of Provence. Guys. Feels good man. Feels good man. Oh my goodness. I feel like that's a huge. That's worth celebrating guys. I mean look at this guys. They're, they're sieging down a, a mountains rank 4 province. The Poles are coming in to save the day. At the, he's got a 6 shock general. Sweet. At the very least, that is a massive distraction. But uh, those poles are, they ain't, they ain't no pushover. Because we're a little bit of a pushover when fighting these these dudes um, ourselves, as we have experienced a few times in the battles. But the poles, it's a different story. They got those uh, beautiful ideas and traditions as well. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. Look at those numbers. We're progressing. Heading towards his capital. Progressing in that regard. And uh, life's good in the hood. I'm a little bit stressed about my attrition suffering here i'm going to try to put at you know cannons in and stop suffering so much attrition because i just don't think they have many troops around this area bohemia's emperor again 
the Protestant Emperor, which doesn't seem to be able to make any progress. Sorry for him. Man, you know, let's just not, let's just take a second to have a sook, okay? But what is up with my sieging this game? Like, I feel like I'm cursed. Let's hope that, like, the enemy does well and we do terribly. Let's just hope that, uh, you know, despite just being, apparently, you know, I, it's, I wish it wasn't the case, guys, and I love them, but, you know, the knights are just the worst sieges ever. They're just the worst. The worst. We just failed at 64% there. We, we've, we've been sitting there forever. Um, yeah, the knights are just the worst. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. I'm just hoping this curse doesn't follow me any longer. <laughs> and that, you know, it stops at some point. This is so brutal. Spanish claim lost. Yeah, but we've been lucky in other regards. Like, I didn't expect that call-in. I didn't expect the claim to be there for so long. From my experience, it goes away very quickly. Uh, by the way, the claim lost is insignificant for those wondering. Don't worry about that. We've already got the war going. You you must start the war before your claim is lost, and then you don't have the CB. But we've started the war with the CB. We're in it, and now we just need to get that war score. His enthusiasm is already forget beginning to feel it. Um hoping that let's fight in the in the jungle here while we can on this jungle fort defend ourselves ah uh, by the way we might be able to get another merchant if we add all this stuff up but i'm not sure i'm not sure that would be really nice though because our economy is is suffering but not too badly not too badly we're doing really well i'm really happy with how this went Three corruption is kind of the equivalent of three loans, in a way. Capital, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Easy solution, though. Capital re-sieged, which means our war exhaustion is not so brutal any longer. Yeah, it's hardly going up any longer. So uh, let's just slowly progress. Make some of these occupations. Let's go. For those of you, if anybody's stressing about it, the fact that I'm losing um, military points, I am aware of that and I just don't care right now. I'm going to delete them after the war. We're just losing one per month. But I actually want to make use of this general. So don't think that I'm not aware I'm losing military points right now because I am. I'm wondering if we can sneak up into here and then pretty much all of our navy pretty much is all in one area which is not ideal for affairs after this war ends but it's pretty ideal for just doing shenanigans due to having sheer numbers navy shenanigans blockading whatever speaking of which I might be able to get away with blockading that's a bit of an issue that we'll also have to wait until the war is over. Let's keep an eye on the front. Yep, they're almost entirely out here in Hungary. So Hungary is really taking one for the team here. I don't think he's going to last that much longer. And with that in mind, I'm going to make sure we keep his, his progress here. But we're definitely going to win a siege off. There's no doubt in my mind. And that's what they're going for right now. So I'm I'm really happy, guys, with how this is going. I think... Uh-oh. Uh, I think we'll be lucky to get out of this unscathed. 12 heavy ships there. Oh, oh, we did get out unscathed. A miracle. Um, okay, I didn't expect that. Now this was our worst fleet, yeah, and it definitely showed. 
France has nobody inside of that navy. Okay, finally completed Diplo ideas. Let us head our way, guys, on towards... Uh, Madrid. But, in the meantime, let's begin to carpet siege down some of his high development valuable provinces. Nice! Nice! They progressed so massively there, and they, they suddenly broke their siege, intimidated by numbers or something. Wow, dude, at the beginning of this episode, as you guys noticed, Nedged up and running. I guess they fell to rebels, I guess. Interesting. That guy shouldn't have coalition aggressive expansion against us at all. Cool. Let's gobble him up in the future. Um, the beginning of this episode, guys, I was stressing for real. I don't just say that lightly. Like, uh, when we were... I was doing my best to outnumber them, fight them with strategic uh, positioning, you know, where they had negative one to rolls. I mean, not that we did that all, all the time. I was trying my best, though. And when we barely won... We outnumbered them like almost, uh, you know, 0 0.5, like 50% more troops. And with him having negative one to rolls, we barely won the battle. And I, I was absolutely mortified. But right now at the end, so this war finally ended today. Eh? Mamluks looking really vulnerable. That's probably going to be our next war for land, as it's nearby. Yep. Milan's another nice option if he wasn't um, in the coalition. Yeah, the end of this episode, guys, We I'm not going to push on and get this uh, PU before the episode ends, I don't think. But what we can say is I'm feeling the opposite way now. I'm feeling like we got this, baby. We easily got this. Went from looking like there was no bloody chance in hell to easy. Easy, mate. It's not going to take too long now. So the technical war score is negative 12. So we're going to get plus 12 when we treat Madrid and we're, we're almost getting there. Let alone the fact that it, it is a 40 development province. We're going to get a ton of war score for taking that. And uh, we're sieging him down all over the show. Base racing the crap out of him. He was doing a good job, you know, killing me. Making my life painful. And then he all of a sudden did a bad job. That was really dumb for him to go over here and focus out hungry. If I was him as a player, I would have just basically defended my borders. I would have just walked around, boom, 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 just defended with the ticking war score. And um, often it's not realistic that the AI can do what a player would do. But it certainly was realistic that the AI would have just done that and nothing more this war. And that's part of the reason that I was stressing. This general is weak AF. That's the one I should get rid of. There he is. And I'm definitely going to uh, do that. I feel like I value my military points too much to be... Hunger is done. To be expected. But he has even worse... He's in an even worse spot in terms of war score. He didn't even annul alliance or anything like that. Interesting. Nice. Toledo Falls. So how about we take out Madrid here just uh, at the end of this episode, guys. Trying to stop suffering so much... Uh, Attrition if possible. Yeah, to make ourselves feel good. That we're doing well. 
Well, let's drop Madrid. It should not take very long at all. Well, school's going to be climbing and climbing and climbing here. And uh, next episode, there's no doubt in my mind that we will get this personal union. Amazing. Amazing. Great Britain's holding on strong. It's got high enthusiasm. There's most of the Spanish right up there. I should have just checked where the rebels walked across. There. So we definitely have to send some troops down to West Africa. That can be handled. Not that big of a problem. And I'm going to look forward, guys, to taking up this. So it should not take too long. Hopefully we'll accept this and... Uh, yeah, in the future I'm talking about. And then uh, finally upgrading our fleet to be professional. And then I think we will pretty much have Navy superiority. Definitely where our subjects can participate. We will never have any kind of Navy issues ever again. We're going to well and truly take our rightful place for the kind of number one powerhouse nation rule of the world after this war. That's going to be next episode. He's pretty much just wandering around. That's not going to do much for you, mate. 88,000 troops here. When we're sieging down your whole country. Mahaha. Awesome. Commonwealth to save the day. Commonwealth MVP. Poor Russia. <laughs> Russia getting wrecked by Purim even, guys. Because, uh... Yeah, Trans is wrecking him some more. Wow. That Russia. Who would have thought the Uralic group is uh gonna take over this region ah oh, the mamluks entered the coalition well with that i'm not i'm pretty confident guys once we win this war the coalition will disperse but so uh, we are gonna have diplo relation slots aha now that i've no it's it's 80 relations shoot well we'll free up a relation slot with gb because we're not going to give him land that we promised um, but then we're going to gain two relation slots, being France and uh, Spain, from this war. So we will be one over, I guess. But we might be able to manage that, like integrate Ragusa after this war, and then we'll be good. Because right now we're far behind in Diplo. And now I'm going to start valuing my Diplo points, guys, as we go into the future of this campaign. Because we're going to have a lot of the world that needs to be integrated as well, not just conquered. I'm going to go ahead and turn the speed up. And there we go. Low enthusiasm, 50 war score, ticking war score. And, uh, victory. Victory is within our grasp. Wow. Amazing. Hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. I'm, dude, this last recording session, I came into this after taking a long break, feeling like I wouldn't even be able to claim his throne. And, uh, two episodes later, I feel like there's nothing stopping us from getting a personal union at this stage. And just look how much of the world we took out in one war. Amazing. Feels good, man. It didn't even take that long. Uh, with that being said, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope you're excited to see us via diplomacy own all of Western Europe, for the most part. Uh, next episode. See you then.